Come on, it's time to go. Nate? Can't be late, can we? What's this? It's my grandfather's compass. I've never seen it look so. You know this has been in my family. Family forever? I know. Nate? Since when does he scrub in? He's gonna crack if he keeps pushing himself like this. It was pretty solid, I'll get through this. You ever lose someone that close? I don't think you can ever get past it. Hey, Bob. Hi, Murray. When are you taking off from the coast? Uh, not sure. I have some top secret info to make sure you know. Oh, yeah? Connolly's retiring. Really? I just heard. He's announcing in a couple of days. <sighs> Might be the youngest head of pediatrics in the country. Unless it goes to cancer. No. No, this is mine. Didn't hear from me. Of course not. Thanks, Martin. Very impressive, Dr. Gibbs. You publish more than I have. You have good rapport with your patients. Thank you, sir and plenty of experience for someone so young. You're more than qualified to head the pediatrics unit. Thank you. How are things at home, Evan? Fine, sir. Well, losing Beth has been, been hard on Nate and I, but, but we're adjusting well and we're fine. We're well on the road to recovery. Being a doctor is more than treating ailments and publishing papers, Evan. At its core, it's about healing. Healing the body, healing the mind, and, and affecting the people that come to us with their trust. You are the right person for this position. Probably my top choice. I just don't think your head is in the right place. And Dr. McKenzie has expressed interest. He is equally qualified. Although I think I know a way you can lock this up. Really? If you're willing to... Whatever I need to do. Any plans for this summer? No. You sure? Uh, not this summer. Oh, good then. Lakes of your land and flowers of your agricultural leaves. Would it be too impolite for me to ask for an earlier date? 
Can you turn the TV down and take off your mask for a second? Now, I know this might be a little disappointing for you, but you're just gonna have to trust that I know what's best for us right now. We're gonna go somewhere else for our summer vacation this year. But we always go to the coast. I know. And that's why we're gonna try someplace new this year. A little place, it's up in the mountains. It's North Carolina. It's apparently beautiful. North Carolina? Dunn's Rock, to be exact. Why? Well, there's this little town that needs my help. And if I help them, when I get back, then I get the job that I've always wanted. You're gonna be working? No, not all the time. No, not as much as I do here. It's a vacation. I know, Nate. You're not supposed to work on vacations. But this is the best thing for both of us in the long run. No, and... no, never would have let this happen. Come on, Nate. Just right across the hall if you need anything. Good night, Nate. Good night. There's some stuff for sandwiches in the fridge for lunch. Hey, 
I'm gonna see if the mayor knows anyone who can stop by and check in on you. And I'll hit the market and pick up some food for dinner later. Okay, see you later. Hello? Hello? You must be Dr. Gibbs. You were told the mayor is coming this morning, right? I've been trying to figure out this coffee machine, which I'm sure is about 30 years old, and I can't even find the light switch. Oh, good. Thank you. I'm not sure how you're used to doing things around here, but while I'm doctor, being late is unacceptable. We are going to be on time in this office. Can you smell that? There's some kind of an animal in here. <sighs> You're lucky the mayor's late. Um, I'm not your... Dressing like that is not acceptable either. This is a professional office. We will act like it. We're not a hay barn. A hay barn? Also, I keep a very close inventory of all the medications on the premises. Now, I'm sure it won't be a problem, but I'm just letting you know that I keep track of every pill. I'm not your nurse. You're not? Nope. Maggie's your nurse. She'll be here tomorrow. She's taking care of her mama this morning. Then who are you? I'm Terry Hudson. Terry Hudson, the... I'm mayor, right, your boss. Mayor Terry Hudson. The one writing your recommendation. So you're, you're not a man. Coffee? I'm not sure how you do things way up there in Chicago, Dr. Gibbs, but down here in Duns Rock, if you act superior and condescending, folks tend not to come around. And most folks don't like doctors to begin with. They don't trust them. Some kids here haven't seen a doctor in 10 years for some reason or another, and I am trying to change that. So it does not help matters if the ones that do come in here wind up getting scolded by the big city doctor with a fancy car. Now, that smell you're talking about? That's raccoon poop. I will have somebody take care of that for you, unless you feel like you're able to take care of it yourself. No. Good. You hungry? Uh, Perfect, I'm taking you to breakfast. Oh, and by the way, these are my good jeans.
Snyder. Hey there, Susie. So when'd you get in? Last night. My son and I flew in. Roger, from hey, town meeting's coming up. You sure and bring your brother. I'm right. Roger here owns the only hardware store in town. He's a good man to know. So you have a son. How old? He just turned 10. Oh. He's a little miff there. Oh. About the, uh, hey there, Lucy. Hello, Jerry. Everything okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Thanks. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Are you even listening to anything? Hey there, Julie. Hey, Terry. You read the newsletter? I absolutely did. It was wonderful. Thank you so much. Julie, this is Dr. Gibbs. He's down from Chicago. He's going to run the clinic this summer. Just for the summer, huh? He's got a 10-year-old son, right? What's his name? Nate. Well, welcome to Down's Rock. I have to bring pie by or something. Okay. Well, I'll let you two chat. <laughs> See you at the meeting. So, are you always the social? I don't know what you mean. How do you accomplish anything around here when you're constantly being distracted? This is how I get things done. Coffee? Hey, Susie, thanks, man. So what do you think of the clinic? Well, besides a good cleaning and some serious handiwork, I'm gonna need some basic supplies, meds, new door locks, I'm gonna need some basic equipment, a Doppler, a defibrillator. I don't remember seeing a sphygmomanometer. I'm a scientist. I can't be expected to perform without the appropriate tools. You're likely gonna have to improvise a little bit, Dr. Gibbs, the no whatever meter, and most of the rest you of it. You can call it a BP cup. It just takes blood pressure. Well, that's very nice, but this town has a cap on medical spending, and we've already reached it. <sighs> there's no budget for the clinic? Around here, there's a lot of making do with what you got. There's nothing in there, Mary. If this is going to work, Dr. Gibbs, you're going to have to work with us. All these people need is proper care and guidance. I'm not a count counselor. I've been practicing medicine for nine years at the top hospitals in the state. Yes, I know. You're very qualified. I treat patients, Mayor. They come to me sick and broken, and I heal them. Or I find someone who can. To do this, I require the tools of my trade, like a plumber or a carpenter. It's black and white. That is the pompous bureaucratic conveyor belt health care crap that I can't stand. There is nothing black and white about this town, Dr. Gibbs. Now, all I am asking you to do is to sit across a desk or stand in a room and pretend that the person across from you who is sick and afraid, who needs your help and doesn't know how to ask for it, actually means something. OK. Really? Yeah. Under these conditions, I'm not sure what I can achieve in such a short time, but I do need a good recommendation from you, so I'll do what I can. Good. OK, uh, Maggie will be by tomorrow. She'll help you get set up. And I will send somebody by to fix the place up a little bit, a uh, handyman of sorts. I need someone to check in on my son when I'm at the clinic. I've got a daughter his age. I'll get her and a friend to stop by. I was thinking more like an adult. I will see what I can find. Day now, right? Your baby's in position. You should go into labor any time. I guess. I'm the new pediatrician. I, well, I'm just here for the summer.
Nate? Hey, Nate, are you home? Can we get a TV? You must be the, uh, the handy guy. Long way from the city, ain't it? Can I help you guys with something? Are you hurt? I'm the new doctor. I'm here to fix animals. Oh. It's real funny, Terry. Hello? Oh, hello. You must be Dr. Gibbs. I got most of the crap swept up, but I still can't find that sticky little rodent. Are you the nurse? <laughs> I ain't the maid. <laughs> Maggie Perkins, pleased to meet you. You too. Uh-huh. Well, Terry, she told me about your uh, professionalism and all, and. Just let me say this. I've been a nurse for 14 years, a mother for 23. I've buried two husbands, and I'm working on my third. So if you can think it, I've seen it, or I've probably done it. And you don't need to worry about me. OK. All right, and if you need anything, I can probably help you find it, or somebody I know will, because I'm pretty well dug in around here. Well, that's good to know. Oh, there's a guy. Passed out on the front step. Oh, Slider, he's harmless. Terry thought it'd be a good idea to make use of him, and that's mighty kind of you, Dr. Gibbs. That's our handyman? Oh, well, he'll so up by noon, we'll put him to work. So, what's on the books today? Well, nothing so far, but we'll see how the day plays out. There is nothing scheduled? Well, this ain't Chicago, Dr. Gibbs. You're on mountain time now. I got coffee brewing, and there's a paper in the office. Why don't you just settle in?
That has to be the new doctor's kid. We were wondering if you wanted to come out and play. What are you doing? Get up here. I'm Chris and this is Fred. Hi. What's your name? Nate. You and your family living here now? Just for a little while. Where is everybody? My dad's at work and I don't have a mom anymore. That's okay. I don't have a dad and Fred lives with his uncle. So, you wanna come out? Maybe some other time. Catch you later. Afternoon, sir. Are you okay? Uh, much better now, thanks. Name's Slider. You must be the new doc. Yes, I'm Dr. Gibbs. Yeah, well, I got some medical experience of my own. So I don't want you to try no funny stuff around here. While I'm here, I might do some fixing up for you as well. So, where do I start? Um, well, I guess the front step. Good, then. Maggie? Slider. broke to me. Where are you going? Need my tools. Oh, beautiful day, isn't it? Is he coming back? Hard to say. Can't rightly help it, Doc. She has them grandma seizures. I'm not familiar with those. You know, uh, yelping and, and, and twitching and wetting herself right there on the ground. You mean grand mal seizures? That's what I said. Last time she almost choked on a fry. Well, other than that, she seems fine. I can give you some anti-seizure medicines that might help her. Yeah. Come on now, let's uh, let's go to the other room while I talk some business with Doc. I'll see you. This visit here, how much it go to cost? Without insurance, it's $75. Mm. Well, I haven't got the insurance, but here's the deal. I can't pay for both you and the pills, one or the other. Now, I would have done without you all together and just got the pills, but then they would have had something to say about that old CVS. 
So here's what we're going to do. Why don't you work this out with Maggie? No, it's between you and me, man to man. Now, you help Gurley there, and I mean to pay you for it. I mean to pay you in futures. Futures? Cucumber futures. As payment for today, you get shares. When the cukes come up, you come pick them all you want, all summer long. All right, you got a deal. I got some papers for you to sign. Shares and futures. Welcome to Dunn's Rock, Doctor. We went by the house today. Oh, did you meet the new doctor's kid? Sort of. He's kind of weird. How do you mean? He wouldn't come outside. Oh, honey, he's just adjusting. Give him time. Juvenile heart valve break. Where'd he pull that out of? I don't know. The board's extremely impressed with him. Yeah, that is impressive. I'm gonna have to up the stakes here. I'm gonna need a glowing review from the mayor. That should lock it up. <laughs> You'd think, right? Remember me? What do you want? Hey, you look like you could use some help with that big box. I don't. I could give you a ride. What's your name? Sally. Sally. I'm Dr. Gibbs. Or if you want, I could just drive the box somewhere. <laughs> What's in the box? Hand me downs. It's a lot of clothes. Well, we ain't sure if it's a girl or a boy, but um, I'll grab both. <laughs> Daryl thinks it's a boy, but that's just because he wants one. Daryl? My husband? You seem awfully young to be getting married. 20 almost. Well, it, it ain't official yet, but we make like it is because of the baby and all. <laughs> Even got a ring. Wow, that's beautiful. Daryl at work? Kind of works when he's needed. <laughs> Why isn't he helping you with the clothes? He and my folks don't see eye to eye, so he's not welcome around there. Up there on the right. Out here. This is the new doctor. Yeah, we met. How much is this gonna cost me, Miss Big Shop? No charge, Dale. Guess we'll see you around then. Nice to meet you too, Daryl. You have a nice day.
places. You want to check it out? Come on. Just an old house, Nate. There's nothing down here to be afraid of. <sighs> hey, this is Dr. Sumner's old house. We better keep out of this stuff, Nate. No problem. Did anybody stop by today? Some kids. Did you play with them? Why not? Wasn't up for it. Maybe tomorrow? Maybe. Steps fixed. Yeah, when did that happen? Sometime last night, I figure. Where is he now? Oh, just checking the floorboards. They're solid. So, what's next, Doc? Whatever needs fixing, Slider. Just look around and find out whatever's broken or unkept. I'm on it. Maggie. Morning, Slider. You going any adventures? Adventures? We go on them all the time. Ain't that right, Fred? Well, me and Fred are heading into town to get some ice cream. Want to come? Sure. There aren't too many forests you come from, huh? No, only parks. Fred's uncle says there's magic in the forest. Says it's the only place left. Ain't that right, Fred? Magic? Yeah, it gives us our powers. We haven't found where it comes from yet, though. But I think it lives deep into the forest beyond any path we use. What would happen if you found it? I would think just about anything. Depends on your power, though. What's yours? I don't have one. Sure you do, you just don't know it. Fred talks to the wind and can make the clouds move, and I talk to the animals. Really? You have a power. We'll help you find it.
Hi, Julie. What can I do for you? Oh, Terry wanted me to drop off this letter for the good doctor. Oh, I can take it for him. Oh, no, no. I also have this pie that I baked. Sort of welcoming present. See you around. Yeah, you go on back. Hey, Doc. Hi. I'm Julie. We met the other day at the diner. Oh, yeah, right, right. How are you? Oh, I'm sick. I need a checkup. Really? No. But I can be. Thanks for the pie. Anytime. It's from the mayor. Everything okay? Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming by, and thank you for the pie. It's very sweet. And if you need anything at all, you just give me a call now. Terry said you might be looking for a sitter. That be for you or your boy? Don't pay them any attention. Oh, look. What do we got here? Looks like the mute and his boyfriend found themselves astray. Stuff it, Tommy. Who are you? You relate to these freaks? Looks like we got us another mute. You're the new docs kid, ain't you? We got us a real big city boy. I hear kids from the city are tough. Is that true? Leave him alone, Tommy. You gonna have a girl do your fighting for you? These guys are wimps. Let's hit the hole. Later, girls. That's Tommy. He's a problem. I think this has been very productive. As I understand it, Roger's gonna donate some material for the holes on Old Cedar Road. Rick and his crew, time permitting, are gonna fix and fill them. Okay. Now everything's covered for the summer set off. Oh, y'all, let's keep off the grass. It took a year to regrow properly. <laughs> All right. And do not forget the new softball league fundraisers coming up. I expect to see you all there. And finally, now, I know some of y'all have been approaching me about the new clinic. Ah, uh, ain't needed. And that's all. And that's all. Settle! Tonight, I would like to introduce you to the new doctor who's going to get the whole thing off the ground. Dr. Gibbs? He ain't welcome. Rick? If anybody has any questions, now would be oh, the before time. Before there are any questions, let me just say what a privilege it is to be able to come to a, a quaint little town such as Duns Rock, where my knowledge and experience can and should be exploited to the fullest. Oh, this should be good. I've been practicing medicine for nine years, and I'm board certified in pediatrics. In layman's terms, that means that I'm a doctor for children. In case any of you weren't sure. I can field any questions now. I've heard about these town meetings before, and I've seen them on TV, but to sit through one is really quite a treat. I must say, I appreciate the simplicity of your lifestyle. To not have to worry about anything except for a, a bake sale or potholes. 
But there is a health risk associated with lack of education. Regular checkups are not only important, but also informative. Have you heard the one about the two rednecks and the rooster? Uh, Dr. Gibbs? That's good. Okay. Okay. I want to thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Have a good one. Um, Evan? Can you wait for me? I'll just be a minute. May I call you Evan? Of course. That was quite a speech. I got nervous. It doesn't usually happen to me. It's a rough crowd. They're good people. Flyers? Not so good. I'm at a loss. Have him look around you. What do you see? An empty parking lot. Trees. Stars. The trees, you see how they move? The stars and the trees. How does that make you feel? I don't know, um, calm, I guess. That's it right there. You think they ought to make you feel calm, but you don't actually feel it. The people around here, they see and feel different things. They move at a different pace. There's a pulse. And until you can open to it, you're never going to gain their trust. I'm not sure I know how to do that. It just takes time. Hopefully you'll stick around long enough. Okay. Yeah. This is a little weird, isn't it? What about surgery? Surgery would be ineffective. The goal now is to prolong life with as little suffering as possible. Dad? Are you 
you okay? Yeah, of course. Go back to sleep. Anything yet? Nope. Maybe I'm not doing it right. It might take some time, because you're a city kid. Does that make a difference? I think so. Besides, you didn't even know about special powers. Let's head to the hole. Isn't that where those jerks hang out? Well, what we got here? Don't look sick to me. Oh, ignore him. You come on in. Doc? Don't you mind your own business, you skanky old fool? People in this community is my business, Maggie. But, but where's the doctor? He's in with a patient. Doc, I'm with a patient. Doc, he's Sally. She, she's having the baby. All right, calm down. It, it, it's all messed up. I mean, I, I don't know. We, we, we've been trying all night. Trying what? And now the... The, the, the cord, the cord is, is all tangled up, and and she's bleeding, she's bleeding. Where is she? Well, dude, she can't walk very fast. I, I ran ahead, come on. Twisted. That's a bad sign. It's very dangerous for you and your baby. We're gonna have to get your baby out. We're gonna perform a simple operation. It's called a C-section. A C-section? Why? The only way we can get your baby out safely. It's a simple incision. We take your baby out and we sit you up. That's surgery. We don't have the paperwork for that. We can't. Yes, we can. I'm saving this baby. <laughs> okay, honey. I'm just gonna feel it. You're gonna feel a little pinch here, all right? Well, what is that? It's anesthetic. Shouldn't we just wait for the ambulance? If we do, one of them will die. Maybe both. <laughs> Daryl, I need you to watch your pulse. Oh, God. Sponges? Oh, God. Daryl, I need you to stay with me. I need you to rub and squeeze her fingers and watch your pulse. Can you do that? It's very important. Yeah. Daryl? Daryl? Just let him go. He's useless. <laughs> Sally, you're gonna feel a little bit of pressure. Okay? Uh, you're okay. just in there. I know. <laughs> Slider, you, you get on over there and you wash your hands real good. You're gonna help us now. <laughs> now, Slider! <laughs> Are you sick? No. You having a baby? Stay with us, Sally. Yeah. Sorry. They do that here? You're doing great, Sally. You're doing great. I guess so. You hear that? 
Something else, ain't it? C-section. I'm gonna get her on an IV as soon as you can and check her levels. She lost a bit of blood. There's a deformity along the spine. It's spina bifida. Boy or girl? I don't know. Shouldn't you ride with them? Yes, sir. Pardon me. This is a good test. Now, think how you'd get back at Tommy if you could. Okay, I would probably... No, 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 You can't tell us. It's like a wish. And if you share it, it won't come true. So think it really hard. And if you have any power, it'll happen. Okay, done. Now what? And we wait and see. It doesn't always happen right away. You having fun here? Do you need a sitter? I can handle it. Growing up so fast. Nate, I wanna, I wanna talk to you about. Gentlemen, can I help you? We are sent for you. You best come with us. It's urgent. I ain't taking no for an answer. Dad? Okay, Nate. Go inside. I'm just gonna go with these men for a little bit. Nate, go inside. You better be as good as they say you are.
I think I know what the problem is if he has a... And I just, as I thought, it's a tick bite. That would explain the rash and the symptoms. Can you make him better? Not here. We do have meds at the clinic that would help him temporarily, but he will have to go to a hospital in Nashville if you want this to clear up. Is he gonna die? No. Only if untreated. I appreciate it. Is everything okay? Yeah. What did they want? Oh, I was a kid, about your age. Tommy, he was really sick, and needed some help. You know this kid? Is he okay? Oh, he's gonna be fine. They took him to the hospital in Nashville. I'm as surprised as you. Slider? <laughs> Morning, Doc. Is everything all right, Slider? It's a fine morning, Doc. They fixed that baby girl up, right? There is a neural tube defect. Is that bad? She's gonna need a... A number of expensive procedures, and even then, it's not certain how long she'll last. She's a fighter, I can tell. <laughs> Four appointments today. Word's getting out. I heard your dad saved Tommy, Sally, and her baby all in one day. He did? Yeah. I overheard someone talking to Mom about him. He's got to have some kind of special powers to say people like that. I don't know. You don't think? He couldn't save my mom. True. OK, here we are. Fred and I have talked, and we agree that you make a good addition to our club. What club? It's a secret club. Once you're in, you're in for good. But I'm not going to be here too long. Nobody ever leaves Dunn's Rock, Nate. But what if I did? It doesn't matter. No matter where you are, you'll be one of us. Good. Means now we can show you our secret fort. You have a secret fort? Of course. What's a club without a secret fort? Yeah, you're gonna have to see a dentist. Ain't that you? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Uh, I can't give you a list of dentists. You can always go to the Asheville Children's Hospital if, if money's an issue. Okay, I'll come. Thank you. You're welcome. What are the chances they actually go to a dentist? They came to see you, didn't they? Oh, good day, Terry. Mayor. The place looks great. I take it Slider's been busy. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised. It really paid off. I'm not. I just stopped by because I've been getting some applicants for the new position here at the clinic. I was hoping you'd look at him, maybe give me a recommendation. Yeah, take a look at him and get back to you. And I heard about what happened the other day with Sally. 
You know you could be sued. I would have lost them both. I had to make a decision. I'm here to thank you, both of you. Y'all took a huge risk to save that baby. So, thank you. All right, well, I expect to see you both at the summer set off tomorrow. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Oh, with what? I got it. Great, Mary. Oh, call me Terry. I'm not working tonight. Mom, this is Nate. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you. <laughs> Hi. I'm Nate's dad. The doctor. Yeah, we know. some work, too. You sound like a changed man, Daryl. Slider, is that you? <laughs> Can I see her? She's a very special little girl. Tell me. Simple things, Dr. Gibbs. You can call me Evan. Hmm. Walk around. <laughs> you dance? Not very well. What is it with men and dancing? Well, for me, it's about not wanting to fall on my face in public. <laughs> Was your husband the same way? I'm sorry. It's tough limits. No. It's okay. My wife loved to dance. She would have liked you. It sounds like she had great taste. How long has it been? Three months. Wow. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. I really miss her. You? Nine years. Does it get any easier? You would think. <laughs> if you could look behind. You know, 
this is a little bit more my pace. Are you asking me to dance? I am. And I'll apologize ahead of time for stepping on your toes. <laughs> You know, you've certainly made an impact on our town. Good or bad? Time will tell. <laughs> your daughter seems very sweet. Your daughter, she's a handful. Like your mom. Made some new friends. What do you guys do all day? Go on adventures. Adventures, huh? Hello. Hey. We're going for a hike in the woods. Want to come? Sure. Well, of course. Uh, we were kind of hoping that you both come along. Oh, sure. Why don't you come inside for a sec? I'll grab some drinks and snacks. No. I'm, I'm just gonna wait here. It's such a nice day out and all. Things in Nowheresville. Oh, you know, it's, it's been a struggle. Well, I wouldn't waste any more time down there. Why? What's up? Mackenzie dropped out of the running. What, what happened? He took his grand elsewhere. I think he knew you were going to clinch it anyway. That's great. Well, as soon as I get the call from Sumner, then I'll, I'll start packing. Hey, Dave. Hey, it looks like we might be heading back earlier than expected. You guys going ahead. You're not coming? No, no, I've got some stuff to get ready.
I'm gonna stay behind. Something come up? Yeah, I got some work to do. You can't work all the time, Doc. Yeah, I know. Have a good night. All right. You ready? You can't let him leave, Mom. I don't have any control over that. But you're the mayor. Honey, I wouldn't worry about it. Things have a way of working out. Gibbs is getting there. He's just starting to open up. Hmm. <laughs> Chicago. If it hurts when you do that, don't do that. Morning, Doc. I was just checking on some symptoms here for you. Five appointments this afternoon. Hi. Dr. Sumner. Dr. Gibbs. I hear you're almost up and running. <laughs> yes, sir. Seems that way. Well, what do you think of Dunn's Rock? Uh, well, it's... It's been an eye-opener. I just called to let you know that the head of pediatrics is yours if you want it. That's great. That's, that's great news. No rush, though. The job will be waiting for you when you get back, so take your time and get that clinic on its feet. Will do. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor, for everything you've done. You deserve it, Evan. <sighs> okay, bye. Nate! Where are you at? Last chance, we're heading out. He wouldn't leave without us. Let's just wait here. He'll be back soon. be out there.
April. Baby, baby, baby. April, I, I think something's wrong. April, April, no. April, April. No, 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 Why? no, no. Why ain't she waking up? When's the next appointment? Uh, two hours. Fix her. You, you gotta fix her. You gotta do something. What's happening? She, she's not breathing. You gotta, you gotta do something. I, I can't. You just, just go in there and give her some no, medicine. I can't. What are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you, give her some, Maggie, give her some medicine. You gotta fix her. Daryl. You think you gotta, she's a neighbor. You can fix her. No, Daryl. Sorry, Daryl. It's about time. Where's Nate? I don't know. Is Nate not at home? No. Hey, Terry, it's Evan. Um, I, I can't find my son. Have you guys seen Nate Gibbs, the doctor's son? That little twerp? That little twerp's father saved your life. Now you're gonna do something for me. If he wasn't in town, he's not at home. He's in the forest, and we're gonna need all the help that we can get. Doc, thanks for coming, y'all. Uh, I appreciate it. Let's just find your boy. Anything you need, Doc. We checked the hole and all the pass around it. He ain't there. Okay. Everybody grab flashlights. Let's get going. Good luck. So, I don't know what to 
say. Come on. Go find your boy. Hey, Daryl, you don't have to We're losing two kids in one day, Doc. all have a way of rising up, especially the painful ones. Boy, this house ain't gonna bring them back. I know. Dad's at work figuring everything out. over him when I'm gone. Dad will fix it. Nate. Promise me, please. Okay. I will. I promise. He'll need you to find his way. Hey, Dad. Yeah, they just set off. No, people keep coming. It's under control. If they haven't found him by nightfall, I'll call the sheriff. Yeah, I'm in the house. I know. Hey, look, I'll call you with updates, okay? Maggie's got the emergency kit. Maggie! Please don't. Please don't take me. Yellow top. Happy pen. Yeah. Yellow top. Come on, Nate. Come on, Nate. Why isn't it working? Come 
fun to eat. Yeah, yeah, hey, Tab. Hey. I forgot my inhaler. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Deep breaths. Everything's okay. Deep breaths. What are you doing way out here? I wanted to find the magic. The magic? To bring Mom back. Me too. Yeah, me too, Nate. Your mom. I know, Dad. But I want you to hold on to it for now. I love you, Dad. I love you so much, Nate. Thank you. Thank you all. Wonderful feeling. It's for you. Hello, Doctor Summer. Everything is fine, sir. How did you know? Oh, Evan, I'm from Duns Rock. I know, sir. I appreciate letting us stay in your house while we're here. It's not my house, Evan. It's my daughter's. Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, sir. Um, well, then I will have to thank her. And Evan, there's no need to get back right away. Take care of your boy. Thank you, sir. Okay, put my daughter on the phone. Hey, Dad. I love you. <laughs> okay, bye. Maggie? Dad? There's no one qualified in this bunch. Maybe tell Terry that I'm gonna stay on until she finds a suitable replacement. Sure thing.
If you could look behind these eyes and read my mind, you'd know I've never wanted for more. Since I took that faithful dive into the river wide, and I washed up on your shore. This is love, I know, I guess, 'cause all I want's your happiness. And isn't that what love is for? And I will be there when no one else is there. If you ever get down to North Carolina, down where the poke salad grows, you can learn a thing or two about your golden rule from the things that a simple people know. 'Cause it's the simple things and not your diamond ring making the world go round and round. It's the simple things and not your bling bling that'll matter when it all. Goes down. That's right. It's the simple things. 